Welcome back technology reviewers. We got the Denon AVR X 1400W. So this is the 7.2 channels, the full uh, 4K Ultra HD AV receiver. And yes, it has Bluetooth and Wi-Fi integrated. So you can uh, stream uh, from uh, your local LAN uh, by Wi-Fi. You can make a media server. You can stream from there uh, the audio. It has uh, all kind of technology. So if you have uh, a large living room, if you have seven speakers, point one, let's say one, it's a subwoofer. Uh, it's great. It's a great uh, system. So we'll do an unboxing. We'll see how uh, is the sound. If you can see already in the package, it has the uh, the high resolution logo. But I'm very curious because uh, previously we have unboxed the X520 BT from uh, also from then on. And uh, that one was not having the high res, but the only difference, uh, theoretically, the only difference uh, was in uh, the playback of the USB and the channels. That one is 5.2 channels, this is 7.2 channels, and it has Wi Fi. Uh, I'm not that uh, interested for the Wi-Fi, uh, maybe the Bluetooth I'm interested for streaming. So guys, here we have the floor speakers from Sony, the CS310 and the Denon that I was talking about. That subwoofer is a genuine subwoofer and it's amplification for this passive subwoofer of uh, 500 watts is the professional subwoofer, I didn't have an amplification. So I've put uh, this... Uh, I uh, take the sound from this subwoofer of uh, the Genius, which surprisingly sounds very, very good. I'm talking uh, exclusively for the low sounds of, uh, of the subwoofer, not for the high sounds or mid uh, or the high resolution uh, sounds. But you know, high resolution also means the low sounds to be perfect, the bass to be exactly on that frequency that uh, the receiver emits. So I'll purchase in the near future uh, amplification for the passive subwoofer. Uh, but now I'm uh, curious and I want to make with you guys an unboxing get to see this uh, receiver and we will talk on, uh, on the go. So right away we see the microphone for the calibration here in the box. Uh, here's a quick start guide, the remote batteries forever, uh, let's take this out, we have the FM antenna, okay, and we have some, some, I don't know what this is, but it's a, it's a, for the microphone calibration, the microphone stand assembly <laughs> instructions, okay. It's nice. And here is the high five brute force. From then on, I got to tell you guys, I'm working with, in the studio, in the post-production studio, with monitor audio uh, speakers and uh, with uh, all the then on. So I compared that all then on with uh, the X520BT uh, and man it's the, the, the same sound and uh, you, got to, you got to calculate like this uh, these are receivers are not for audio but um, what my point is they made the receivers even for quality high resolution audio so now audio lovers, in the Wi-Fi compared to Bluetooth, you have a better signal, a powerful signal than Bluetooth. Because you know ADTP, it's uh, that aptX uh, new protocol, new codec from, for Bluetooth, but it's not enough for, for uh, flag music. Bluetooth can stream, uh, they say, uh, until 20,000 Hz, but it's not enough, it's not enough for this. So here uh, stands the Wi-Fi. The Wi-Fi will help you stream flawless music over, uh, over your network. 
Now this price of this Danone receiver is somewhere between 600 euros and 700. Maybe if you get it on a sale, it will be uh, evidently cheaper. Um, I got to tell you in the specification, it has, it supports DTS 5.6 megahertz and it supports that, you know, that uh, audio files from the studio DSD directly from your studio when you make recordings in the studio you can put on your stick uh, it supports there this front stick and you can uh, play it from the front stick uh, up to 192 kilohertz at 24 bits flak and attention wav I told you it has bluetooth airplay and in spotify connect with multiple 4k uh, spotting HDMI inputs. It has a lot of HDMI inputs. So guys, it has a HDMI 2.0A and HDCP 2.2 specification. On all six HDMI inputs, we'll get to that and I'll show you the back. Um, with 4K Ultra HD at 60Hz video, 4.4.4 pure color subsampling, high dynamic range has HDR and uh, 21.9 video 3D MBT 2020 pass through support in every input. Man, I can't believe how many features this receiver has. And uh, an interesting, an interesting thing. Um, the producers and generally in the non you will see that all receivers from the non have between 20 hertz uh, and 20 kilohertz so this is not marketing this is the real hertz a human ear could could listen you know a human ear cannot uh, receive and cannot doesn't know more than 20 kilohertz so this receiver has 80 watts per channel at 8 ohms but we'll get the specification it has more watts for the front uh, for the front speakers and they say it's a high resolution audio because it can decode up to 24 bits at 192 kilohertz lossless files flag wav a e f f and i love that it supports dsd at 2.8 megahertz or now 5.6 megahertz track it's amazing so the power output two speakers in the front of uh, 120 watts the center speaker it's uh, 175 watts and the satellites for surround are 80 watts it's enough believe me power consumption uh, is 430 watts it has uh, a echo mode that uh, you can uh, manage to achieve 29 watts in power consumption with no sound and uh, with echo mode on 29 watts and 39 watts with echo mode off so in the back guys we have a lot of connectors okay we have the front uh, left front right and you see are uh, not like uh, for example in this denon 520 are with screw are not with clips but uh, it's not a big deal this but it's now you see it's some something else okay uh, you have the seven channels here and the subwoofer you got to amplify it by yourself it has two RCA's you can put two subwoofers for example why are two RCA because you can put for example if in a corner of uh, your living room uh, you can hear the bass just right you can put another subwoofer it's uh, kind of nice and you can uh, you will not lose for example here you can put an adapter but you will lose uh, the power uh, that's why the non made another pre out for subwoofer too it's very interesting and uh, here you can connect it in 4k all of that uh, 5 hdmi connectors you have the network here uh, you have the network you can put it by cable or by wi-fi you have some video in by rca for example you buy analogic and you can uh, view it by uh, as digital for example as a converter uh, this is the output it supports the HDCP 2.2 is the protection for the 4k streaming uh, video 
and uh, what I notice it has two opticals not coaxial and two opticals uh, in audio so guys I skip this setup I put it in USB I put two USB and uh, what I am trying to do is uh, put uh, the same track we have two speakers let me put the speaker in the back so what I'm trying to do guys we have the same speakers the left one and the right one the left one is evidently with the uh, Denon from the left X520 uh, BT and the right one is with uh, X1400 uh, W okay so now I'm trying to I put just the equalizer here from the option and the tone I kick it to maximum the bass and the treble also from the USB on the left side if you can see I don't know if you can see okay uh, the tone it's on is six with six so now guys we put it the same flock meditation it's uh, in 60 bits it's 44 Hertz 44 kilohertz with uh, I don't know 900 I think kilobits per second so guys I have tested the two receivers from uh, for an hour and uh, I have tested with flock at 96 kilohertz at 24 bits so in my conclusion I was testing with high resolution speakers from Sony and with high resolution headphones with of course of course with wires to know and sense the difference and I have a quality track I have quality headphones I cannot sense the difference the units are then on Denon makes high quality um, receivers and amplifiers so uh, these amplifiers uh, are a lot of differences between them for example the differences that I saw this one has two equalizers the small and a normal equalizer and this one has only a small equalizer the X 520 BT so in the equalizer are of course are a lot of differences but I want to test it for you guys the sound the quality of the the sound because uh, for me it's important to have a clear good sound differences I didn't saw I uh, tested only with flat equalizer the the simple equalizer was flat and I tested with um, uh, the simple equalizer with boosted to six the bass and the treble to six on both of them so I listened to classical music for an hour I didn't sense uh, differences differences are in uh, for example in Wi-Fi antennas in Wi-Fi streaming in um, um, in USB you have a USB and you have uh, more settings than the simple normal one but for me are I'm, I'm not using those settings so it's a pity to pay for something that you won't use so you can make an opinion with uh, with uh, this discovery because I didn't saw on YouTube uh, someone to make on the receivers on the same brand uh, quality sound check because it's all about the sound mm, don't use a powerful receiver than the speakers use a smaller receiver as I'm talking about the power use a less power than the speakers support so it's normal for them to advertise uh, with high resolution and yes it supports on USB more than 96 kilohertz this one supports 96 kilohertz this one supports 192 kilohertz on the USB but both of them supports on uh, for example in HDMI in 5.1 192 kilohertz and both of them I uh, dig up some specification both of them in the frequency have um, 2 to 100 kilohertz
guys thanks for watching if you like this video if you like this uh, then on this presentation for the receiver um, please thumbs up for us and support us on our channel guys and subscribe to the button because we'll publish a lot of videos tutorials uh, comparison between uh, electronics and please support us on our channel have a great day thumbs up bye guys